Hello everybody and welcome to another uh, award-winning guitar lesson. Um, this, this thing I'm going to teach you here is pretty easy. kind of takes you from the uh, area of being a beginner to sounding like you're really a guitar player. It's some Spanish sounding music and it's, it's not that hard. What I'm going to start off with, if you look at your sheet, there's a, um, a diagram and some tablature of what I call the Spanish scale. It's actually, to get technical, it's the Phrygian mode of the C major scale. but that doesn't sound very romantic, so we call it the, the Spanish scale. But um, what it is, is we, we start off uh, up here, it's all open position. I'm, I'm starting on the bass E string, play the string open, then first fret, then third fret. Then we go to the fifth string and open, then second fret, third fret. Do the same thing on the fourth string. Then on the third string, the G string, we only do the open and second fret. Then on the last two strings, we do open, first fret, third fret. Okay, that's the scale. And what you want to do, um, take a look at my lesson entitled Introduction to Alternate Picking. You want to be sure you're doing uh, alternating up strokes and down strokes, and that little lesson will, will teach you all about that. But, you want to get to first, learning a scale like this, the first step is to memorize it. Where do your fingers go? And one important thing here is you'll see uh, I'm using three fingers on this scale, first, second, and third, and my first finger plays all the notes that occur on the first fret. My second finger will play any notes that occur on the second fret. My third finger will play all, any notes that, uh, that happen on the third fret of any of these strings. The, um, it's important to keep that accurate. You know, you don't want to go da 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 down and mix them up. Keep your fingers on the right frets. Another important, uh, important <laughs> I'm from Jersey. Now, uh, another important uh, aspect is you want to play with your fingertips. You want to have your fingers down, coming down pretty much perpendicular like this, not flat. You don't want to be playing with that part of your fingers. You want to come down on your tips as much as possible. And you also, if, if you want to have your fingers, you want to have a little bit slanted. Let me see how I would demonstrate this. Slanted a little bit towards the nut. You don't want to have them going this way. You want, you can either have them kind of up or a little bit slanted towards the nut. It's going to make it easier. One mistake I've seen people do is mix it up where you have some fingers slanted that way and this one that way. Makes it hard. It's better to have them all with that slant there, okay? So, you get this thing memorized with the right fingers. Right? And then what you can do is just you could just play it from the bass string up to the highest note and back down that string. And then you strum those four chords that are on your sheet there. An E chord. You slide that E chord up, a fret, all six strings, you lift up these two fingers, and back down to the E chord. So so if you put that scale in there, ole, you know, so you kind of got it there. You got, got the feel. Now, um, obviously you can do a lot more with that scale than just the up and down that I just did. You can, you know, And another nice little uh, Spanish sounding touch is to take this fifth string, second fret, slide it up to the seventh fret and then hit the E string open. And then with these four chords you can do some little practice on your strumming. Whatever you like to do there with, with that strumming. And before you know it, you're sounding like, you know, you should be over in Spain somewhere. Obviously, this works really well on a classical guitar. If you want to look at my finger picking uh, lesson, we can uh, you know, do it on a gut string guitar, and uh, on that one I'll also show you some, uh, some other finger rolls that sound really good with this, this flavor of music. So I hope you enjoy that one. Have fun with it.